what we want to do later is we want to export our own created frames as well to ILDA. So before we can do that, it's very important to do the proper permission settings um, for the for the whole laser world show editor. To do so, we go on options and we select the default right settings. So what we can see here, this is a good setting for allowing the export of ILDA frames later on. What you need to need to consider is that if you create a laser show and you have settings like this and you pass the laser show to another person, the person can change the show, they can upload it and anybody else can, can use it. So if you want to put any limitation on who can use the show, uh, you can enter a specific dongle number, but I suggest to do that later on when everything's been created. So a good thing is to start with these settings here, just allowing everything. And then before you hand the show or the figures to third party, you can still make limitations on these on this specific folder. This is possible later on. So this is just the general settings and I highly suggest to use these general settings to just not run into uh, problems later on. We do save settings and close window so the settings are preserved for next start of the software. If we don't save the settings, just close the window. The settings are preserved for this session but as soon as you restart the show editor, the settings get lost. So it's important to just save the settings and close windows so they are preserved for next time. So what you can see here is we have a, uh, a file structure with different folders and for being able to export and to completely freely use our laser figures later uh, we need to create a brand new folder. This brand new folder must not contain any other frames or figures that you copied from another existing folder because if these figures have been in a folder that has been protected then meaning copying these figures to the new folder puts the protection on the new folder as well and if there is any protection if there's any third-party content that you don't have permission to export to ILDA you cannot export to ILDA and you see this one, save figure as ILDA file, is gray. And we cannot have that because uh, we want to have export, for example, for playback later on from the show net. And that's why we need to consider using a brand new file folder. So what we need is a new folder. To access the new folder, Ah, here it is. I just created a new folder. You see that one here? So we're opening this new folder and everything we're doing now is happening in this new folder. So if we create a new figure, a new frame, and we save it, it's saved to this new folder. Now as we've created some own figures here, we've got the special circle, the square, and the animated one. Um, we want to export these figures to ILDA files. Um, the ILDA file export usually is very simple and easy to do. If you followed all previous steps, so to sum those, created a brand new folder, created own patterns and saved those in that folder and the folder does not contain any other patterns you copied there from an existing folder, then it should be possible to do a simple ILDA export. I'm just, I just select the rectangle morph we just created, go to file, save figure as ILDA file, and it asks me if it should be optimized and I say yes, optimization is important here, otherwise there might be problems later on and I want to export it to the same folder and as I want to use them with a show net 
interface and I want to put them on the SD card for the ShowNet interface, I must consider the naming conditions that are required for the ShowNet interface. Otherwise you can choose whatever name you want to give the file, but if you want to use them together with the ShowNet interface, you need to stick to the naming conditions which are uh, the three digits, so it means the first file is uh, 3 times 0, the second file is 0, 0, 001, the third file is 0, 0, 002, and so on. So I do this as first file, I say triple zero, save. Now it asks me which type of ILDA file I want to uh, generate, because there is different standards that can be used. The normal version is 5, so we use the 5 unless there is another requirement, for example, you're using a non-standard ILDA projector, a non-standard uh, interface or whatever. But 5 is the normal standard value, so we stick with a 5. And that's it. So the file has been generated and you can use it uh, with other software, with other hardware, for, with playback hardware, and you can exchange this file with other users.